Hey guys, Vanessa Time Lord. Um, it's been a while since I've done my last video because it's been weeks. I've been very busy actually. Um, assignments and stuff. Not assignments, just assessment tasks. It's actually been very busy for me actually, so I haven't had time to do anything. So, um, yeah, there's actually a proper video where I actually talk to you a lot instead of myself and, look, and let you hear everyone in the background as usual, like uh, Malaysia and and the captain. Yeah, they're all good, by the way. So, um, I don't exactly want to talk about what I've been doing in my assessments because they're just not that interesting. Except for my drama assessment, which was awesome, by the way. I'm probably going to get my marks back for that next week, so we'll just have to chill. Hoi there, guys. Um, so, now, people have been probably wondering, like, oh, me and everything, because I don't usually talk about it. I thought I'd talk about my favorite, <laughs> my favorite games. Yeah, that that would be a good like video game series because I don't usually talk. I haven't actually done a proper introduction video, and I think this should be the be, the good one, like to have a bit of explanation of my games and stuff and background and you know and everything. So let's. How about I just get started here? Let's begin now. The first console I ever got, I believe, was a Sega Mega Drive. I was given that to my, me by Leon Ra. I can't tell you who that is, but he's a guy, he's an awesome guy. He actually used to own it. He used to play it as a, when he was a kid, and I was very young when I got it. I was about five or something, and it was a pretty good console. I got two games. Only one was decent is decent to talk about, which is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Awesome game, by the way, even though the game cartridge started dying after I got to the second level for some stupid reason. Um, sorry, I got TV on in the background, it's two and a half men, good show, by the way. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is actually a really... Yeah, what? Oh, God, why is that in the recording? Never mind. Um, pretty much... I was pl Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is the second Sonic game, it's basically the rival of Mario, so I really started off with Sonic before I got into Mario, but I have played Mario games before it. Mario Kart 64 I played before Sonic 2, the Hedgehog 2. Um, the other game, um, pretty much the other game was like a racing game, it was crap, I didn't like it. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 I still own, and my Mega Drive is somewhere in my house, I don't know. Um, I also was given the Sega Master System, which was the console that came before it had a whole bunch of games on it. There was actually one good one, which is a Donald Duck game, um, an Indiana Jones game, this cloud riding guy, as well as I think Alex Kidd as well, the original Alex Kidd, which was a good game. Alex Kidd pretty w was actually a really good game in my opinion, but probably not the best game in the world and all that, but you know. Um, sorry, I'm having so many freezes because I didn't actually, it's not like I rehearsed this or anything. Um, there were two other consoles I think I had about the same time, which was the N64, which of course is one of the best consoles ever, and the PlayStation 1. Now, the N64 is probably my, was more of my favourite of those two consoles, because they had better games! Um, I got that for my birthday from my mother. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, I figure I'm not that old. Uh, it, so, and I'm... I didn't get it for like when the N64 was popular, it was about the time when the GameCube was just about to be released and stuff. Um, the hell is wrong with him? Um, I got um, Mario Kart 64 and Super Mario 64, as well as Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. They are really good games by the way. Um, Majora's Mask being probably out of all of those, all, out of those four games, I like Majora's Mask the most. I know people would think, ooh, Ocarina of Time should be your favourite game, because Ocarina of Time... I disagree, I prefer Majora's Mask over Ocarina of Time, it had a better feel to it, I actually preferred it more. So, um, yeah, and Mario Kart 64 was my only multiplayer game, Super Mario 64 was a... wasn't such a bad game, if you ask me, and Ocarina of Time took me ages to finish. Majora's Mask, awesome. Um, 
But the bad thing was, I actually, well, I actually got more games before I get to the bad thing. I got Lilac Wars, which is basically Star Fox 64. Good game, very short though. Pokemon Stadium, awesome game. I prefer Pokemon Stadium because it's got more Pokemon in it. <laughs> um, the original Smash Brothers, not bad, but I prefer the other two games. They're better. And... I can't even remember the other game. Oh god, I actually remember having more games than that. I honestly do. God, I don't. Um, about Super Mario 64 and Mario Kart 64. I was an idiot one day. This is one of the worst mistakes I've had in gaming. And I did not buy it. I did, I absolutely, I, no I didn't buy it. I didn't, I sold it. I accidentally sold those two games. I didn't mean to sell them, but I did. And I actually, it's one of the gaming, one of the things in my gaming history that I absolutely regret doing. Second being the Legend of, not buying the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap over two PS2 games. Yeah. Well... Well, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, PS1, it was a good console, I think. The PS2 was probably getting the mode when it was getting to that point, though. Um, there was only one game, I two games I actually liked on that console that I owned, and that was two based off Disney movies, and they were actually good. Um, Tarzan, the video game, and Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Epic games. Awesome. If you actually want to look, if you want to see those games, you definitely should. If you don't, I'll come after you. Yeah. Okay. Basically, after that, I was getting into the uh, of the new generation. The new generation, which was pretty much the PlayStation 2, the GameCube, and the Xbox. I played the GameCube several times. I played Super Smash Bros. Melee a lot, and the PS2. I played Jack 2. And I played Halo 1 on the Xbox, which wasn't such which I liked all those games. Um, I believe I got the PS2 first out of the two that I got out of that generation. Which, PS2, I got a Star Trek game called Star Trek Shattered Universe, which is based off the, alt, the Mirror Universe from the original series. It was actually a really good game, in my opinion. It's actually awesome. And I'd recommend that if you find an LP of that, watch it. Just watch it now, it's it's a good one. Um, uh, I also got other games, Jack 2 was one of them, that was good. I think Jack 3 is preferred over most of them, but I had Jack 2. Never played Jack 3 actually, I feel bad about that. Um, I had Lego Star Wars, that was good. Um, yeah, when I got into PS2 games, I got better games, like, later on. Like, I have Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, two of my favorite games of all time. Kingdom Hearts 2 being probably more than Kingdom Hearts 1. I've got Final Fantasy X, good game. Crappy main character, though. Titus! Sorry, I don't know where I went there. Anyway. Um, the GameCube. My favorite console of all time. Honestly. If you... If you say that the GameCube was, like, really pathetic and stuff. I have to disagree. It had epic design for certain games. I have so many games on the GameCube, by the way. Star Fox, I have Luigi's Mansion, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda Sky Twilight Princess, Pokemon Coliseum, Star Fox Adventures, Star Fox Assault, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, Super Smash Bros. Melee, everything on that console is freaking awesome. All good graphics. Twilight Princess, in particular, is my favorite game of all time, and I own it on the GameCube. I don't like the Wii version. I mean, the Wii version's good, but I actually prefer the GameCube version because it's actually easy to play. Super Smash Bros. Melee, best fighting game ever. If you haven't played it, Metroid Prime. Even though you can get it on Metroid Prime Trilogy now on the Wii, but that's not the point. GameCube, best damn console ever. If you disagree, I usually knock you lot out. <sighs> Hold on, I'm going to check the time on this video. I know I do that. But... Oh, nine minutes. Uh, I've got a ten minute mark. 
Um, I may as well just do a bit more. To no, actually, I'll set this up for a second part. Um, so I'll see you in the next part, guys. Better to turn that out.